my name is Chan Yong So. I come from Korea. I study math and philosophy at Balliol College, University of Oxford. I last week I just finished my second year, and now I'm looking forward to the summer holidays. What's your plan? I plan to teach um, some A-level students mathematics, maybe in Oxford, maybe in London, and hopefully I'll get some time at the end of. The holidays to go back to Korea to visit my friends and family. Okay, your subject is math and philosophy. That sounds very interesting. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure. Yeah. Whenever I say I study math and philosophy, everybody goes, "Wow, can you can you study that? Yeah. Like they're so different." And in a way, that there is a truth in that because, in one sense, they're sort of extreme ends of arts. And extreme ends of science, and they require very different skills. So in mathematics, you require definite formal reasoning, uh, whereas philosophy and art subjects, you would require more of a informal, argumentative, persuasive arguments. Um, however, throughout you can look throughout the history, um, they've been studied by lots of. Scholars together. So, if we go back to the Greeks, the, they studied mathematics, the science, and philosophy, and they taught them all together. Uh, the famous scholars like Pascal, Descartes, uh, recently Bertrand Russell from Cambridge, um, they all they all study philosophy and mathematics. I think there is a very strong link between the two. Perhaps one thing that links them together really strongly is logic. They are very foundational and logical subjects. They require precise reasoning, and and another way they are linked. They are very, uh, as I mentioned, they are very foundational subjects. So philosophy sort of provides foundations for all areas. Actually, um, philosophy requires us to question our assumptions, everyday beliefs. And mathematics is the basis for all sciences. Um, they go really well together, and especially how the course is structured in Oxford. You get some course called uh, Philosophy of Mathematics, and you learn to question the assumptions of mathematics. So questions like, what is a number? Do they exist? Like, how are we to justify mathematics? The way I think of it, it, mathematics tries to build up ideas on top of each other, bringing in more and more ideas, providing more and more applications. Whereas philosophy, you take a subject, look at the assumptions, and try to break them down and see how far you can go down and see uh, what are the certain assumptions you can have if there is any. And this really complements each other really well. So philosophy. As, um, especially scholars like maybe Godel um, and Hilbert, they tr really try to question the foundation of mathematics, whether we can have a really founding basis for mathematics, which all the other ideas are uh, based upon. And it's really interesting to see some of the failures and successes of the mathematics and philosophers. And the skills you learn from the two schools really are important. So philosophy, so asks you to ask, uh, question the assumptions. And when you see maths and philosophers compared to mathematicians, you do get some contrast. Mathematicians really ask for why is this true? Why is this true? Why does this make sense? Mathematicians, maybe more of the applied mathematicians. Um, more focused on the application and the uses. Uh, and the, the skills you learn from mathematics, precise reasoning, logical thinking, these are really complementary to philosophy work as well. A lot of philosophical arguments are done using logical arguments and many flaws in arguments are from simple logical deductions. And so equipped with these two very powerful and essential skills, um, the the courses learned really well. Okay. Um
Do you think you will benefit from joint owners in the ministry when you apply for a job? Okay. Um, so the, the, the essential, essential skills, the deductive reasoning from mathematics, numerical um, calcula calculation skills, um, problem solving skills, these are really essential in basically all, all um, jobs which requires problem solving. On philosophy you get to learn to argue, to make clear arguments, to express yourself clearly. Uh, pers persuasion, using examples to back your arguments, these are of course essential um, when uh, having interactions or making proposals in any kind of jobs. So. I believe that the skills in maths and f um, philosophy, they are not only essential but really useful. You have explained very, very well about the advantage of joint owners. In the, all over the world, uh, there are many admirers of interdisciplinary subjects or multidisciplinary subjects. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Mm, yeah, so. I know, I come from Korea and I know that in Korean high school you, you get a uh, distinction between the arts and science subjects and you only can only subject and study in one area. I think that is quite a shame because um, in, my, in my level I studied French, uh, religious studies, maths, physics and I don't think they hinder at all. Um, having these broad areas and getting to know different subjects, it really helped me to um, decide upon what I really wanted to study in the future. Um, and and, and I, really, I really did enjoy yeah. having studied both arts and science. And okay. Really there are other subjects. Right. Yeah, of joint owners. Like yeah, so E E M. That's right. Mm. So there are many popular subjects, especially at Oxford. PPE is really mm. strong. Mm. It's the politics, philosophy, and economics. Mm. Um, and so many people who wish to go into politics mm. or perhaps working the investment uh, bank. Exactly. Uh, maybe. Um, I think pe pe uh, students who tend to uh, who study PP uh, tend to be thinking of more politics and uh, working in the EU or uh, Union. Mm. Mm. And there are other subjects like E and M, economics and management, mm. uh, as another bigger uh, combination: e engineering, economics, and management. And that's and that's a really popular course. Mm. And I think. Having talked to all the f friends who study these kind of subjects, they, they really do enjoy it and, um, and find them really useful, um, having these different disciplinary skills. Thank you very no, much. No problem. Good luck. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much.